Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Dylan. Today I'm going to rewatch Cyprus and Israel's performance of the semi finals in Eurovision because when I first did my top five, I had Israel at number one and Cyprus at number two. But after seeing the semi finals, I'm not really sure what I what where my mind is going right now, so I'm just gonna rewatch them right now and pick my favorite and I'm probably gonna piss off like half of the viewers on this video but hey it's still competition and I love them both I just wanna enjoy the videos again and express how good they are in their own separate way and eventually pick my number one so I'm gonna do that right now the sun is going down so I have to be quick I hope you enjoyed this video if you do hit that like button hit subscribe and please drop your winner of tomorrow in the comment section below because I'm really curious about who who's picking who and also let me know which one of these two you prefer. Yeah, let's just start. I'm gonna start with Neda Toy. I love this song. Uh, it has been my favorite since the beginning. I did have Fuego on my Spotify list as well, but I didn't listen to it as much as Toy. I have no idea which one I eventually will pick. Here it is. I love her. It really sucked that she wasn't able to use the looper. Because that's what really set her apart of the competition. Just her face, it's so fun. Oh, the dancers, of course, yeah. I forgot. She does this a lot, like... I was really hoping on like the looper thing that was gonna be a big thing, so... I was really upset that she wasn't able to use that. I love her voice, like... It sounds like she's going off-key, but it's not. Yeah, fireworks. Goodbye. Like, what's so good about this song is like the creativity, um, just her funness. I really like that she's bringing fun to Eurovision. Um, What's up with the Asian theme, by the way? I don't really understand that, but... I just get happy watching her. Oh, did you see the video of her falling after the performance? It was so cute. Imagine being like, oh, I'm done with this performance, I'm so thrilled, and then you fall down the stairs. I was hoping for her to wear like this huge uh, dress, like I saw in the um, Hello Amsterdam performance. That one was amazing. What? That's I love you. It's obvious that I love this song, um, I love Fuego as well. It has such a different vibe, I'm gonna put it up right now so that this is still like fresh in my mind. Eleni, Eleni, is that like how you pronounce her name? She's insane, she's like the Beyonce of Cyprus and that's what I really love about this performance. And just the energy she, she's got, it's insane. She's so tiny, she's so skinny. I 
like her vocals on the original track on the studio version are a lot better but when she dances she still maintains her voice but the same with with Netta Like in the beginning, I was like, okay, this is a nice performance, she looks good, she can dance. But as the song goes on, <clears throat> she's insanely good. Like the hair flips and everything. Like, I'm already thinking about how can you even choose between these two? She has like some Beyonce like dances in her performance as well. Taking me higher. Like every time the song goes like this height, then it comes back down, and then the chorus comes. It's so good. This part. Is insane. Like this hair flip. Is this like a hologram or something? Because it's also in front of her, like the flames. At one point, like there, you can see them in front of her. If you're in that crowd and you see all those fire coming up. I just think like the whole vibe is so fitting for the song. Like with the fire, the colors, the energy. This spot though, she was like singing all the time and afterwards. <laughs> but that really shows that she gave it 100% and I really love that. Um, like I said, I find it so difficult to pick between these two, but I have to do it for myself. Um, like, every choice is a bad choice because I don't really know what Eurovision really should like stand for for a song. What I like about Netta is that she's creative, she's fun, she's crazy. Um, but what I really like about uh, Elena, Eleni um, is that she's just a powerhouse and look everybody's opinion on music is totally different so I do like the, the songs with the, the nice messages but I do think like Eurovision give a show you know they both have a great show but I will have to change my top I think Cyprus will win tomorrow and it is so well deserved. If there's anyone out there who can say that that is bad or that doesn't deserve to win, um, then I don't know what's going on. I did like the song at first, like before I saw the performances and when I saw the video of Fuego I wasn't really expecting this kind of entertainment. So when I saw this my mind was blown, like literally I had no idea what I just had watched so maybe the song did that for a lot of people and I think it did so I'm putting my bets on Cyprus also for me I just really really love the song um, like seeing this performance when I listen back to the song now on my Spotify list I really just imagine this performance so it gets so much more energy so that's why I think Cyprus will win I'm sorry if I disappointed you in this video um, but I hope you can understand my choices and I think you will. I do wish Israel the best as well, of course. I will be very happy if she took the number one spot as well. Let's just hope that Cyprus and Israel will get the number one and two spot, then I'm happy. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and yeah, let's chat about Eurovision in the comment section below. I'll see you very soon in a new video. Bye-bye. Like wild, wild fire. You got me